Yeah, boy! Hi guys, welcome to another Game Boy Draws video guys, and as you can see today in this video, it's going to be a collection video. This is my collection of box Game Boy games I have. I know a lot of you guys don't actually see a lot of my collection, and I don't really share a lot of it. Um, I, yeah, I looked at my old video of me doing a collection video of my, of my box Game Boy games, and I realised I haven't done an update in a long time. I've not really picked up many in, in ages. I think the latest game I picked up was Wendy on the Game Boy Color, which I'll show you, uh, boxed. Uh, that's probably the most uh, recent Game Boy game I've added into my collection. So I thought I'll show you guys what Game Boy games I have that are boxed. Um, I do have a lot of loose ones, but these are the ones I've kept for a long time. And this is one of my main things I used to do when I first started my channel. I was massive into picking up Game Boy games especially box ones and um yeah i've not got rid of, rid of any of my favorite titles i've got rid of a few junky ones but i've kept on my favorite ones that i really like i thought why not do a video and let you guys see because i've had a lot more subscribers since i did my last video of me showing you um what game Boy games i had now i've got a literally about well over 100 i think um hopefully i'll do this so you hopefully you can see some of them that are behind me so as you see here these are the box Game Boy games I have, um, arranging from Game Boy Original, Game Boy Advance, and Game Boy Color, all that, and um, it's going to be a long video. That's the only thing. So I'm done. If I'm going to cut it up into two, two or three different parts, um, I wasn't sure how to do it. Maybe to show Game Boy Advance or you know, show like original Game Boy and then Game Boy Color and then Game Boy Advance, but I might do it by genre, like as in like um, Mario games. Um, all like sort of like that. I don't know, like just do it in sort of a um, you know, certain selection of games, like with a series. So I thought I might do that instead of to split it up. But we'll see how it goes. If it goes well, hopefully it does, and um, we can show you the Game Boy games I have. As you can see right there, that's where they normally would be. Um, I've took them all out, and I've digged out of some other ones that I've not been in my room. They've been in storage. So yeah, let's let's show you guys what I've got. So let's start off with the Mario games. Hopefully you guys enjoy this and let's crack into it. So here's one lot of Mario games I have for the Game Boy. First off, I'm going to show you one of my favourite games. I used to love playing this. This was great on the Game Boy Advance. Really good port onto it. First ever um, like handheld version of uh, this game. And it, this is... Um, Super Mario Kart Super Circuit very very good game if no one's ever played this I'm pretty sure most of everyone has and that is complete and boxed in the box protector most of these are in box protectors a lot of them I do need to get some more for but yeah really good game if no one's played it really nice port to the Game Boy so yeah awesome game next we have Super Mario uh, Deluxe which is Super Mario Bros. Deluxe, which is really fun as well. Basically just uh, uh, a revamped of um, the one on the SNES, on the NES, sorry. And you can link up with the other Game Boys as well, which is pretty cool. You can link up with someone else and you can race each other to the next level, uh, which is pretty cool. Um, yeah, really fun game. Also, we I have the, the Seasons of the... Let's get these, the set of these. So I've got the SNES games that they ported to the Game Boy Advance. Um, the first one I ever had as a kid, which I loved to death, was Yoshi's Island. Still got my original car actually, but not my box anymore. I've got this at least, so that's a, had to have been brought back. Most of these were from eBay back in the day when I first started collecting. Back in 2013, I started collecting box Game Boy games. Um, and I've not really picked many up since about 2016. Or maybe about 2015 I kind of stopped so yeah this was a good one really good game this one also got number two or oh, that one's number three this one's number two or was it number one uh, no number um, number two or whatever this is uh, Super Mario Advance uh, really good this one as well really fun and uh, number three which is awesome Mario Land, Super Mario Land 3 or Super Mario Land 3 Super Mario 3 
or bros which is really fun as well my original copy i found this i found uh, someone lost one on the floor uh, i found it like it was like half run over by a car but luckily it actually worked which is wicked so yeah that's my uh box copy of that game also got two copies of this i've got two copies of this game which is awesome it's, it's a very unusual game it's hard, quite hard to um play you gotta like move your game boy to make um yoshi roll across and move and stuff um and then i've got another copy here which this one is sealed that i bought off ebay years ago i think i paid like 30 quid for that um not sure what it's i don't think it's worth a lot anyway now but i grabbed it because i thought it was cool and i got one loose so i could play it also let's see what other ones i've got because i've got a lot of mario games oh yeah here we go also got Super Mario Land, Super Mario World um, as well, which is for the set. So that's a really good game as well. Uh, Mario Party Advance, that's really cool as well to have that. Also got Super Mario Bros, which is the NES uh, Classics version, which is pretty cool. Also got the Wario series uh, for the Game Boy, which is pretty cool. So I've got the first Wario Land which is great, which is basically the next from Super Mario Land uh, 2. Um, Warrior Land 2, which mine sadly sun faded a bit, but I was happy having it. It's boxed and it's a nice nick, just the sun fading is a bit annoying, but oh well. Um, Warrior Land 3 and Warrior Land 4. So yeah, both great games, all great games. So I'm happy to have those ones. Um, and then I also have Super Mario Land, which is a classic. Everyone's going to have that for the Game Boy. Really classic game. And my favourite game on the Game Boy. I don't know why, I just love it so much. And it is Super Mario Land 2. Cracking game. Um, which is awesome. This also has the old Woolworth sticker on it still. It said it was uh, 21.99 back in the day. Uh, I've not tried to take it off before. That's quite nostalgic. It, you know, it, it, it's not that annoying being there. It's just cool to have an old classic shop we used to go to when I was a kid. I used to get quite a few games from Woolworths back in the day. Um, I may have some other Warrior games. I've got this one as well, this is for the Warriors series. This one's a bit battered. It's, as you see, the box is very tatty. And the, the thing that's meant to be in here is missing. But it does have the game in it, and that is Warrior Blast and Warrior Land. Um, yeah, these are quite, some of these are quite rare. Um, this one's not that rare, because the you know, condition of it is naff. Um, but I got this in a bundle years ago. So really pleased to have it. Um, but yeah, I do actually need to get the war. I wouldn't mind getting Warrior Blast um, box only, like kind of like um, box only or something like that, so I can add one of my cartridges. You know, I've got the original game at ho here already. Uh, or, so yeah, that's pretty cool. I know I've got a few of them get Mario games I can show you, uh, but these are some like um, sort of ones with Mario are sort of features in. So we've got um, tennis, which is Mario is actually is features as you can see in the background. Um, so we've got Mario Tennis, Mario Golf, which is just Mar just golf, but Mario, as you can see, is on the front. And then I've got one of the Game & Watch Gallery uh, Advance here which, as well. So that's pretty cool. So you get the Game & Watch ports of the games. So they're all my... Uh, so they're my Mario games I have at the moment. I probably might find some more because it's hard to try and get them arranged in a certain way I can show you guys. But they're the Mario games I have at the moment. So I might find some more when I'm digging through. I show I show you some of the Sonic games I have for the Game Boy Advance, Advance, which is pretty cool. Um, so I have Sonic Advance, uh, the first one, which is really good, really good game. I used to play that. It's exactly the same what's on the N-Gage. Did you all know the N-Gage phone? It's exactly the same game as that. 
uh, just on a Game Boy. Um, Sonic 2 Advance. That was... I did a trade with uh, 2 UK for the box. Because I had the game at home already. I think I had the box and manual for it. So we did a trade ages ago. When I first started collecting. And he sorted me out of the box. So massive thanks to massive thanks to you for that years ago, man. That was awesome. And uh, yeah, if you're watching this, cheers, man. Uh, number three as well. I've got Sonic Battle. And I've also got Sonic... Uh, pinball party so there's the Sonic games I have for this for the Game Boy right we'll go through some of my Kirby games I have for the Game Boy so let's get into this I'll show you some Japanese ones I have at the moment so I'll show you those so the first one I have is um, I'm not sure I think it's like a pinball pinball game of, of Kirby Japanese release I think this was a gift from Raz um, Everyone, you know, who whoever, whoever doesn't know who Raz is, uh, I think his name is Raz Tendo or something like that now. He used to be called Raz Mataz or something. Uh, but yeah, he, he hooked me up with this as a gift years ago. So thanks a lot for that, Raz. And I think he may have hooked me up with this, I can't remember. Uh, this is actually the original game of um, Kirby. This is the one, I, this is the game I brought from, I imported from Japan because the English version of this game, that if you want it box, is really high in value um i've actually got the, the english copy of the game uh but loose cart um so yeah and that is kirby's dreamland 2 uh, which is one of them i brought myself for the collection so that's awesome and now let's get into these games i've got here so i've got the original uh kirby's dreamland and i've got kirby's may uh, the Amazing Mirror. Uh, also got Kirby's Night Nightmare in Dreamland. Nightmare in Dreamland, which is pretty cool. And also got Kirby's Pinball Land. So that's the Kirby um, games I have that I've got box, which is great. Next I go for some Gremlins games I have. I like the Gremlins. You guys have seen me pick up a few Gremlins bits over the years at Car Boots. I actually have all the games that they got out for the Game Boy. I'm pretty sure I have. If not, then um, I might have to do some more research. But I'm pretty sure I do have them all. So the first one I have is Gremlins 2 on the Game Boy original. Also, and then we've got Gremlins Unleashed as well. And I also got Gremlins... Which is Stripe versus Gizmo for the Game Boy Advance as well. So that's pretty cool. Please have in those. Next, we'll do my Game Boy uh, boxed Pokemon games. So let's get into that. Right. So I've got Ruby boxed, Leaf Green boxed, and I've also got Sapphire boxed as well. I've got um, was it this one's is crystal boxed by I got helped with this by Connor, which is awesome. And it needs a manual, that's what he needs. And I got the cartridge off my, my friend uh, Lewis, Jake's brother. My friend Jake's brother, he hooked me up with the cartridge, so that would end up from being a box only to a half complete. Just needs a manual. Um, also have pinball, uh, Pokemon pinball. This is in not bad condition, so that's really awesome. These were the first Pokemon games I got back to the collection. Um, I got these all, I think I got these two, the ones I first picked up when I first started collecting from one guy, and that is Pokemon Yellow and Pokemon Blue. Pokemon Blue was the one I had as a kid, which is awesome. This isn't my exact one, but I had this one when I, when the game was out. My dad got me this game. But Pokemon Yellow I really like because you can have Pikachu uh, follow you. I think that's quite a cool little feature. Um, yeah, more like you know what happens on the movies and, and the, or the cartoon and that. Pikachu follows around me. It's quite cool having him having him with you and stuff. So I like Pokemon Yellow. And then I've also got Pokemon Red, which is wicked. 
this is what I got when I first went to my other event back in uh, Manchester. I paid, still got the price on it, and that is um, silver. And I still got the price I paid for it on the back. Uh, where was it? Here we go. Uh, 19 quid, which is not bad for this game. And the box is in really nice nick as well, so I was pleased with having that. And I've also got an American copy of Pokemon Blue because I kept this one because I had blue um, when I was younger and I thought having two different versions is pretty cool. Um, I got that from the Hoos 2. I don't know if he's still doing YouTube, but they hooked me up with the box for a fair price as I had the game. It does need to cut the... Um, it's got a game in there. It just needs the um, sleeve, like not sleeve, the manual and insert. So that was pretty cool. So that's a few of my Pokemon games. I think that's all of them I have. I don't have Pokemon Gold. That's the only one I don't have, sadly. But hopefully one day I'll get it. A really good game for the Game Boy, if no one's played it. And that is Kanoa. Really good puzzle game. Really, really enjoy this. I've, I've got it. Um, I've not played the cartridge I have. I've been playing it on the um, Flash cartridge I play on my Game Boy. Um, and uh, yeah, if no one's played this game, it's really fun. It's like a platformer like puzzle uh, which is fun one of the games i got back which i was trying to go for like, all the games i had when i was younger and i remember buying this from woolworths back in the day for like 20 odd quid i think it was with my birthday money and this isn't my original one i said but i ended up buying it back and that is rayman on the game boy this is actually quite a fun game it's not actually bad it plays quite well um so yeah i've got that one and also, when I first started collecting Game Boy games, I never even knew they had a number two version. So, they even had, even released Rayman 2 Forever. I never, I didn't even know this was even released. So, I spotted this when I used to go on the hunt for Game Boy games all the time on eBay. And I was like, I've got to get that because uh, I didn't even know it was even released. So, that was wicked. Um... This one's been in my collection for many years, way before I started collecting. I've had this since I was about 15 years old. And that is um, Micro Machines. I've always loved the classic Micro Machines and always wondered what's it going to be like on the Game Boy. And uh, yeah, this isn't the great version. As you see, it's more the classic, cheaper version. I would like it actually would be full, fully arted here, but... You know, I'm happy to have this. This is from my original kind of collection when I was about 15 years old. Um, I brought myself a Game Boy Pocket back in the day and it came with this. And this is one of the games I really wanted. So, yeah, really pleased to still have it from years ago. Um, a game that a game that I can't not have, as you know, as you guys know, you probably know that like, I collect virtual pets and Tamagotchis and stuff. This is another one I got way before I started collecting games or anything like that. I've had this for a long time. I didn't even realise this was released as well when I when I used to just browse on the internet on eBay and stuff. I think I was about about sixteen when I brought this. Sixteen, coming on to seventeen. Um, I saw this on eBay. I was like, I've got to get this. I think I paid like fourteen quid for it because I really wanted it. I don't even know how much this game's worth now because I don't really research them anymore, like Game Boy games. But um, yeah, and it is Tamagotchi on the Game Boy. You you can raise up to uh, three of them, and you just you know it's just basically just a Tamagotchi game. You you can play games and typical things you can do with them. Um, it's cool, and yeah, luckily mine's still in nice condition from all these years. It's not as I said, it's not in amazing condition, but in a Sentinel case or a protector, they are um, yeah really look makes it look nice. Um, another game I got which is sealed, never opened. I would love to play it, but I just, like, I've kept it still because, you know, you don't, I don't know when you're going to find another one sealed. I got this for, like, 20 quid off eBay, and that is uh, Drill Dozer. It's got, like, a rumble feature in the cartridge, so when, they, when you when you play it, apparently it rumbles, which is pretty cool. Um, yeah, it's only was released in America. It's meant to be a really good platformer. So, yeah, I've got that. Also got a typical game, Game Boy Gallery, um, one of the quite a common game for the Game Boy. This is going to be my uh, Donkey Kong series games now, guys. So yeah, Donkey Kong games I have, I have 
Donkey Kong Land 1, which is boxed, as you can all see, Donkey Kong Land 2. And to finish that off, I've also got Donkey Kong Land 3. So, yeah, that was great getting those. They're all not in bad condition. I think mo I think one of them might be missing manual, but I'm not at first. Happy to have them. And then the last one I got for Donkey Kong games. I don't think I have any of any more on the Game Boy. This is the only one I have. Uh, last one I have for all. And it is Donkey Kong Country on the Game Boy Color. So I've not actually played much of this. I've played the SNES one before, but I've not given this one. I think it's just pretty much just the SNES port to the Game Boy Color. That's cool. Now I'm going to show you some of the games I have here which are like extreme sports games like you know BMXing, skateboarding, stuff like that. So right the ones I have here I have Freestyle Scooter. Um, it's not the best on the Game Boy. This one in the version I have is sealed. I bought it sealed and I've kept it that way. Um, just wanted it for the collection because I like my uh, freestyle, you know, sporty games. Um, not the best. The best version to play this is our, is on the PlayStation uh, 1. PlayStation 1 game of this is amazing. One of my favourite games it was. The soundtrack on the PlayStation 1 game of this is wicked. You can also put the CD in your CD player and it will play the music from that game. Um, so yeah, if anyone wants to play like a freestyle game, I recommend playing the one on the PlayStation 1. Re really, really good game. Also have the Game Boy Advance version. This is a lot more better. Um, it's not too bad on the Game Boy Advance. Um, but still, it's loads better than the Game Boy Color version. Um, but it's actually a lot more playable, this version, on the Game Boy Advance. But yeah, that's uh, same, same, pretty much the same game looking. But just two different version ports. But they're both really different basically two different ports um like type of games really things you're doing so now let's go to my tony hawk games the tony hawk games i have on the game boy i have tony hawks 2 this is really good on the game boy if no one's played this it plays really well it's really fun and the buttons are really responsive so if anyone's not played a tony hawks game on the game boy Number two is the way to go first. Very, very fun. It's even got a battery save on it so you can save where you get to. So yeah, really, really fun game if no one's played that. Uh, also got Tony Hawk's Underground. This one, I've not actually played much on the original Game Boy or the Game Boy Advance. I've played a lot of the PS2 version and I've also got Tony Hawk's Underground 2. And uh, these two games, I'm going to probably give a go um, soon. I've now I didn't I forgot I had these two games, and now I've dug them out. I'm gonna actually uh, have a good play on these and see what I like because I played the hell out of this one, uh, very very fun, but I've not played these ones, so I'm gonna give these ones a try. So that's awesome. Uh, also got some BMX games. I had this one as a kid, and this is uh, Dave Mirror Two Freestyle. Um, this one's not bad. It's not awful, um, but I did enjoy it. So Dave Mirror 2 on the Game Boy. You can also make your own skate parks and stuff like that on it. And uh, yeah, it's pretty cool. Um, I got, I think I got my original copy from my friend Jake back in the day at school. And I've always enjoyed just pissing about on it. So it's really good. And the Game Boy Color version, this is not very good. It's not the best. And that is Dave Mirror. Dave Mirror. Uh, Matt Hoffman, BMX. Not the best, but it's it's for the collection, so I'm happy. Now I'm going to show you a few of my decent new games I have for the Game Boy. Um, also, uh, first one I'll show you, I have Little Mermaid. This was brought for my uh, girlfriend back in the day uh, when I first started collecting. She's really into uh, Little Mermaid, so I thought I'll grab that. She can play it and I can add it into my collection. Um, so yeah, I've not played it myself. This is for the collection, really. So yeah, pretty cool. Also got Mulan. I love the movie. I thought I'd give the game a go. It's all right. The game. It's not not amazing, um, but yeah, it's, it's a game at the end of the day. This game was one of the, was one of, was was one was pretty much the first game I ever had for the Game Boy Color when I first had my Game Boy, and I loved it. I played the hell out of this game, and it is um, Tarzan. Really fun game. Um, I think it's fun for me. As I said, it's, I got a lot of nostalgia for it. I, I, it's one of the games I really 
played a lot of because it's like I didn't have many back in the day. Um, basically, on this one, you go off and you have to collect um, bananas, and then is if you when you collect every single banana, you, you either you have to go and find Turk or um, you have to find Tarzan because you can switch between Turk and Tarzan in different levels. Um, so yeah, it's a fun game. I like it. It wasn't it wasn't rubbish. Um, Darkwing Duck on the Game Boy as well, which is pretty cool. I've not played this one, if I'm honest. I'm not sure what it's like. I don't know if it's meant to be like the SNES, the NES version. Uh, another game I had when I was a kid, which is 101, 102 Dalmatian, sorry, 102 Dalmatian. I used to play a lot of this as well because I didn't have many as a kid. Um, I used to cheat a lot because you could piss about with um, the codes to get to the next level. I used to just try and work them out myself and get to like levels I never even got to before. So that was pretty funny just doing that. Um, so yeah, that's another game that from my childhood. Also got Little Mermaid Pinball. I thought I'd grab that. The American version of this is actually a Rumble one. Um, but the one we got out here was just a standard cartridge. But yeah, the ones that have like the pimp that the Mario the Mario that the Pokemon Pinball game for the Game Boy. Um, in America they or like that, they had um, one with actually the rumble feature. But our ones didn't, so um also got um Snow White. Sadly the top of it's been removed when I got it. Um but yeah, Snow White I thought this looks interesting, didn't even know they released the game, so I grabbed it back in the day. And this was from Doncaster when I first went to have a wander around. I found this, a box version of um, Beauty and the Beast, uh, a board game adventure. I've tried played a little bit of it. It's interesting, but yeah, it wasn't what I expected. It's but yeah, as I said, it's basically just a board game game. You've got to do like little puzzles and stuff and that. So that is a few of my decent games. I might find some more when I dig through the rest of these. For a few extras, I've got. Um, let me see. Lilo and Stitch. Lilo and Stitch games are really good. They play a bit like Metal Slug games. Um, you've got a rapid fire, and uh, number one doesn't have a save, but this one has a save. Number two, you can save where you get to. Um, yeah, it's like the old classic uh, Metal Slug. It's very, very kind of that sort of style, and uh, you wouldn't think that for a Disney game on like um, on Lilo and Stitch. But yeah, if no one's played it, it's actually quite fun. And I've also got Aladdin on the Game Boy, which is another one for their Game Boy, um, for the Disney collection. Next I have, I have um, a few Simpson games I, I want to show you guys. Um, these lot here, literally, I think these ones all, yeah, all these were from the car boot. I think so. Might be wrong. Maybe that one wasn't. Yeah, these ones were. That one wasn't, I don't think. Um, if I remember rightly... In one of my episodes, if everyone's watched all my episodes, I've got this game. Sadly, there's no insert in it, but the cartridge is in there. I think I paid like a five or each of these, something like that, which is still pretty awesome. Um, so I've got that one. Also got that from the guy. Um, yeah, th these games are really hard. I had this years ago, cart only, and uh, yeah, it's quite difficult. Uh, this one was for, was actually from a YouTuber, and that is Retro Dave, Nintendo. Um, yeah, I got this one in a trade sometime, which is awesome. So, yeah, that was awesome getting that off him. Really pleased having that one. And also, I've got Chris, um, Chrissy's Funhouse. Uh, I've not played this version of the game. I know I've got all these games, but I've not played them all. So, yeah, that's awesome. Let's move some of these down again. I'll do a few of my expensive games now, which have gone up in crazy prices. Um, this is the most recent Game Boy game I picked up last year. I saw it on Facebook Marketplace. And I, I ended up buying it off him for £55. I'm not sure. I can't remember how much he was asking. I think it was like 60 or or 70 odd. I think it was like 70 quid. I can't remember. I might have to find a screenshot. Maybe share it on here. Um, but I picked up Wendy on the Game Boy. This one's quite an expensive game. Um, it's quite a cool platform. I've, I've played it quite a bit actually if I'm honest. I was playing it the other day, giving it another go. You can um, walk on walls and uh, on the ceilings kind of thing. And uh, yeah, it's quite a fun little platform. It's, it's got no battery save, but it has um, passwords. So you got to write down the passwords to try and remember what section you are in. 
It says, uh, yeah, it's, it's even works on the Game Boy Advance. It says plus three uh, levels. So it's got extra levels. If you play it in the Game Boy Advance, it's got extra levels you can play in it. But yeah, that's that game. And the game looks like, like that, as you can see. Um, but yeah, it's quite a high price game. Um, boxed, so I was really pleased of finding that one. I had to add it into my collection, so I was happy getting that. Uh, another game I've got, which is this one. I paid about, about 30 quid, if I can remember correctly. 30 or 25, something like that. When I first got it, I thought it was quite expensive. This game's up to about, about 100 odd quid. 150 maybe, maybe a bit less than that. I don't know, I've not looked in ages. But mine's in very nice condition. I've not given it really a much of a go. It's like a RPG type of Pokemon type game. I've not really given it much time, so I've got that one. I thought I'll, uh, yeah, really pleased having a game like that, you know. Um, I'm not in the rush to get rid of it. I'm going to keep it for the collection. I'm not going to be moving it on or anything. So that's cool. And another one I got, which was a big help from um, a guy called Lee. Um, Retro Fusion, his name is. I don't know if he's still doing YouTube. He used to occasionally do a few um, pickups of what he got at the car boot last year. I've not seen him do much else recently. But if Lee, if you're watching this, mate, big thanks to you. He hooked me up years ago when I first started collecting Game Boy games. A box. Um, and then all I had to do was find a cartridge. So he hooked me up with this game. As you can see, Battle of Olympus. This game is like 150 quid. He found the box at car boot and the lady um he said, Oh the game there's no game in it. And the lady said, Oh okay, I'll throw it away. And luckily Lee, he saved this game or the box from being chucked in the bin. So basically you go for free and then um he said to me, would you like it? And I was like, you sure? And he's like, yeah, I can send it off you. All you need to do is get a cartridge for it. And I went to um, Blackpool for the first time in 2014. And one of the first stores I went to had a little like box, like a little tub full of Game Boy games in there for two quid each. Looked in there and I was like, boom. And there was a game in there. And I couldn't believe it. So I made it complete just by going to an event and I paid two quid for the cartridge. And now this is fully complete with the manuals and everything. So massive thanks to Lee. I still treasure it in my collection, Lee, man. I'm not going to be getting rid of it. It's going to be sitting in my collection for many years to come. So thanks a lot for that, dude. Um, so, yeah, wicked. One of the weirdest games I ever found, this is what I found in a cash converters for like 50p. Um, I didn't even know they made a game. It's just something silly. I wouldn't really ever play it. And that is NSYNC Get To The Show. It's a bit battered. Uh, and it was reduced from 99p to like 50p. I was like, a box Game Boy games of 50p? I'll give it a whirl. <laughs> so I grabbed it. Also got here we have um, Worms up on the Game Boy Color. Also got Cats. We've we'll got here as well, we have um, Dragon Ball Z games. I've got a couple more somewhere, which I'll dig out in a bit. A couple of Dragon Ball Z games here, which I've got these two here. I've got this one. This one's quite an expensive game to get boxed. I don't know why it is, but it is. I've had this one for a long time. And I've also got this one as well. Yeah, this one's quite cool. It's like a... Uh, platform and fighter i don't know it looks really cool though so i've got that another game by game i have here which is this one i got this in a bundle years ago um all complete as well which is nice i've got this one here which is um needs a box protector it's a bit squashed but i've got this one rugrats which is uh, only on a game boy advance game quite interesting i've got this puzzle we we i've tried to play this it's, it's interesting I can't really get the hang of it. Like you got to try and not hit the walls with a stick. Uh, I'm not the best at it. But yeah, it's all complete as well. Another game, this one here. This one's complete, quite quite nicely complete. I've got a box of them here. 
So I've got Lilo and Stitch number one. Um, one of those Rumble games again. Bradley game with a Rumble pack on it. And you see the boxes are much more thicker. Also got Home Alone 2. I still need to get Home Alone 1, but that one's quite a high one. Um, Tetris, you can't not have Tetris. There's the other Dragon Ball Z game I have. Um, I've got Earthworm Jim. This is quite a fun one on the Game Boy. Uh, Finding Nemo. <laughs> something not random. This one as well. That, came, that one actually came with the Wendy game as well. That came in the bundle with it. Um, this one's quite a fun platformer. Something different. I've also got number two of that as well. Like a second one. Um, Crash Bandicoot games. Those ones. And I've also got... I think this was from... Um, I swear this was from... What was it? Retro Day back in the day as well. So that's cool. I've got... Um, as you see, Nightmare Before Christmas, Tetris, um, Tetris 2, this game here, quite interesting game, I grabbed it, it looked cool, so I thought I'll give it a try, um, also I got that one, A, um, a, a cartoon I used to love watching back in the day, and um, Kim and Kim Kim Possible. This one's sealed. I got um, pretty cheap, I think, off eBay. Um, it's meant to be quite a good game, actually. Quite a fun little platformer. Um, so I grabbed that. I've got Tom and Jerry. Um, this one. I've got Grand Theft Auto, Wings of Fury, um, Angelica, and then the rest of the stuff in there is just a few accessories and bits and bobs in there. A few box only that I need to get the games for. These are box only games. And that is Digimon, there's nothing in there. And Bubble Bobble, which is nothing in there. This is one with car boot. I never got the game for it. But um I've got those. And then I need to show you one more box that I forgot to get out. And then that'll be all my Game Boy games I have. So literally I'll be back in a second. Right guys, I'm back. So literally these are the other games I have guys. So right, let's start off with Stranded Kids. This is I got this box only and then bought the cartridge. All it's missing is the manual. Um, so yeah, it's like a kind of like an RPG type of game again. Um, yeah, so I got that one. Also got worms. Um, you see, nice bit of uh, Space Invaders. Another Mario kind of base game. And that is alleyway because it's got Mario in there. When you when you've played the game, you see Mario jump in there. Um, so yeah, alleyway. That's a really good little bouncing ball game. Um, I got another uh, game and watch gallery, which is this one here. Also got the first game and watch gallery because that's number two. This is number one. So that's basically another Mario series type of game. The last two Mario games out of them. Is I've got another like puzzles like a puzzle game, and that is Mario and and Yoshi. This is another game I got from um, a YouTuber and some Lee again, Retro Fusion. He hooked me up with this box, and I ended up putting my own cartridge in it, and it completes. So that's massive thanks to him again. So massive thanks to you, Lee, if you're watching this. I still have it from all these years ago. So massive thanks to you, man. Uh, a couple of uh, like movie based games 
a bug's life chicken run which i hated this game as a kid i had it um i loved the movie when it came out and i got the game for christmas sometime on my birthday i can't remember i think it was christmas and um yeah it wasn't the best but it was cool so happy to have that and last but not least which is actually a really fun game and it's a racing motion like a motion car motor control car racing game and that is super rc pro-am so yeah it's a classic edition but i'm happy to have it i think i paid like three quid for this back in the day posted so yeah it was a great great game i got that way before i started collecting game boy games as well one of the first ones i picked up again i've also got a couple of spyro games that i might have forgot to show you so i'll show them again if not um also got spyro um season of ice and i've got spyro a new beginning as well so a couple of spyro games sort of collection as well which is great last game to show you guys is this one this is one i got from raz uh razmataz his name was i think it's now raz nintendo something like that something like that i'm not sure um but yeah this is the game he gave me when i went to the event he gave me this game and then um japanese games as well so i still have it raz still kept it shows it in my collection not going anywhere thanks a lot for that mate i know you said in a stream the other day you forgot what you gave me this is one of the games you gave me so big thanks to you dude just editing the video guys and i just realized there's a few games i forgot to show you so hopefully i've not shown them already but anyway i'll show you these ones just in case i haven't shown you but i'm pretty sure i haven't so let's uh, get into these ones first one i don't remember showing you was this this one which is from the spyro series i was like i'm pretty sure i don't remember showing you this and this is this one here this is all complete and all awesome so yeah really happy to have that so you see it's a completely different day um just going for the video and i was like yeah i've not even shown you these games so let's show you this i've also got balloon kid which is minty condition as you can see it's a really fun game as well i really enjoy playing this one so that's great and then a game that i got from the car boot ages ago um i still as i need, I need to get a box protector only, only protector i've got is um is one of these one for the super nintendo or whatever um and that is miss miss um, patman this thing cost me about four pound from the car boot three pound maybe uh, i've got a price on it for six quid i think it was four quid um the box is a bit bad but yeah that's another game i've got for the collection which i probably would have got in one of my episodes car boots i'm not sure and then this game's not boxed but this is a game that i would love to get boxed in pal um it's the game i was talking about a while ago in this video and it is in here which is i've got a few of these little cases that all game boy cases and it is a, a really really good game and it is as you see kirby's dreamland 2 a really 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 fun game um i really really enjoyed it when i first picked this up i never even know it knew it was this it existed and when i saw it on ebay i saw it and i was like i've got a bid on this and i want it for six pound posted um it's not in it's, it's the label as i said i've seen is not in amazing condition but um yeah that's that's my box game boy games i do have a load of loose ones as well but um yeah that is my box set so there's going to be an extra clip on now of me talking probably won't make sense now i've added this into this episode or into this video but i hope you enjoyed it and uh yeah let's carry on the rest of the video so um yeah pretty long video i hope you guys enjoyed it um that is my game boy games i probably might find some more on the way digging through some stuff you see i've had to move some more stuff over there because i've got to put all stuff there because i have some in the box under there loads in there and i had some in the garage but i'm going to try and now fit them in my room um all of them i love to get them all in my room because game boys game boy stuff i love you guys we don't see a lot of me sharing game boy stuff um just because i'm more into my car booting hunting videos and um my collection for the game boy is pretty much stopped i don't really collect on the game boy anymore i probably next i might need have to do is a handheld collection because I've got a lot of handhelds as well. A lot of you guys probably don't know what I have. 
Um, some of you guys have been subscribed to me for a long time, but haven't seen anything that I actually have in my collection. So this is what I'm going to start doing. Um, got all this free time now. Um, not really doing much. Why not show you, side guys, some what I, some of the stuff I have uh, accumulated over these years of uh, collecting. So thank you very much for watching. I hope you all uh, stay safe and uh, yeah, have a good one, guys, and thanks a lot. Peace out and uh, have a good day. Bye, guys.